What's up, buddy? It's time to go get my wheels. some cool ass wheels for the 6th gen build. I'm meeting up with my boy Michael. We are gonna check out some wheels for the 6th gen Civic because I got those EK9 brakes. They are bigger so I need to get a wider wheel with a better offset to fit them. I was gonna try running the Steelys but they just don't fit and I don't wanna extend studs and do all that type of stuff. So we're gonna pick up a set of wheels for the car and we're gonna do some other fun activities today. You guys are excited? Let's get into the video. Welcome, welcome to the vlog. Nice dad hat. Thanks. That's no product shot or anything. You know, nice hat. I'm super excited to do this today. Obviously, I'm not looking at the camera that much because I am driving and Alexander just took that from me and thank you. Super excited for these wheels today. I've always had a vision with one of these cars. It was a hatchback that I had the vision with, uh, but we're doing it with the coupe. The coupe wasn't my number one choice hatchback was but the coupe was too cool to pass up so we are going to go with the vision and transfer that vision to the coupe and I think it's gonna look badass right now this lady uh, totally looked at me yeah, yeah we do YouTube yeah I'm a youtuber thanks hey thanks and uh, right now the vision I have is gonna be a sleeperish we're gonna keep everything kind of OEM plus even with the wheels and I'm pretty sure Alexander's like recording this I'm pretty so, sure I am so the entire this whole entire clip might just be half my face <laughs> but we're gonna put it in the video because I want to show you how good her video recording skills no, are no stop yeah. I'm better I'm gonna transfer that vision to the coupe for now we're gonna keep it as a sleeper I want to see if I can get some cool sleeper poles on unsuspecting vehicles and record the reactions because I think that would be priceless to see this little Honda Civic beat up on some bigger cars and then eventually we're going to boost it in some sort of way not sure yet what type of boost and what our power goals are just yet but you guys got to stay tuned for that also we will see you guys at the Rota headquarters So we got here, I am early as usual. I'm always early to things somehow. But uh, yeah, we're here. He's not gonna be here in, it's gonna take about a half an hour till he gets here. So I think we're gonna grab something to drink maybe. Maybe if we could buy a booster juicer or something, would be nice, you know? Yeah, okay, I can find something. Some clothes. I'm the one who's clothes. As you can see, I'm very red and got some nice uh, tan lines because I went fishing. Yesterday it was quite hot. And you didn't put sunscreen. What do I say? Put sunscreen, protect that face. Ugh. Protect think, that face, I, hashtag. I think the pen suits me, what do you guys think? Protect that face. <laughs> but we're gonna grab something to drink since we are in this area. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys the wheels. Super hyped about them. I've always wanted to own a set of these wheels, so. Oh yeah, it's gonna be. Bo oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be awesome. Alrighty, we found a boba place. Haven't had one in a while. I'm craving it. First time here. Let's see how it is. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'm a little too strong. Here are our bobas. Bobas. Now I got honeydew with strawberry toppings or whatever, tapioca. And Alexander got matcha with some tapioca also. Let's see if they're any good. Mm. No bad, no bad. Delicious. No bad. You like it? I like it. All right, let's go pick up our wheels now. Okay, let's go, I'm sure. 
All right, we are here at Rota headquarters in Mississauga, and these are some of the awesome wheels you get to choose from. They have a lot on their site, but can you guys guess which one I'm going to put on the 6th gen build? I ain't going to show you guys yet, Well, there's some nice wheels in here. Damn, these, these are nice. I like those a lot. The Titans, even the matte black. Damn, some nice wheels. All right, a little windy out here, but as you can see, the wheels are all loaded up. Big thank you to Mike for hooking this up. I'm super excited, and I think Alexander's there trying to hop a video real quick. But these are gonna look really good. I ain't showing you what they are exactly yet. You have to stay tuned for that, but let's get home. We've picked up the wheels. I'm not gonna show you guys just yet. We're gonna grab some tacos because Alexander and I are big, big taco and burritos and just Mexican food and Spanish food in general. We love it. We're gonna check out this new place called Burrito, no, Rico Burrito. Say hi, you We had to bring our homeboy Hugo with us, you know. He's been stuck in the house, so. We have to let them out, so let's check that out. Hopefully they're good. I heard good things about it, and then you guys will see what's up with that. We're big foodies. They're learning a lot about me. I hope you like it. I hope you like it. <laughs> I hope you like it. Let's get it. It's not in here specifically, but the sign's not up. It's right there, there's no sign, so it's kind of one of those like secret like speakeasy clubs. What it, that's what it feels like, but it really isn't, but let's check it out. All right, some Rico burritos. Thanks, Chris, have a great weekend. Wow. What was that? What was the ding about? What was the ding about? <laughs> Got some Rico burrito. That's some chips. Oh damn! Look at this. So it's, cute. It's like a subscription box here almost. So let's open her up. Vanna White. You ready? You gotta slow mo this. Ready? Oh. Wow. Check those guys out. They actually look really good. What's up, dude? So we got two fish tacos. Two. Uh, carnitas and one barbacao. <laughs> barbacao. And then we got some chips and dip. And I got a Mexican Coca Cola. Let's check it out. I'll let you guys know how I like it. They look hella good. All right, so our ratings. And I can say we've had quite a bit of tacos in our lifetimes and from quite a bit of different places. Alexander, go ahead, you first. Connoisseurs. <laughs> Connoisseurs. Connoisseurs. Of La Taco. That's. Mexican. From my experience, I say this is probably a five out of ten. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should have known, and I think I said it when we were looking at this place. They don't have street corn. What Mexican like place does not have street corn? Like that's the number one thing: street corn. Please. All right, so. <laughs> That is Alexandra's take on it. I give it a respectable six. Why I say is the ingredients were fresh. It wasn't a corn tortilla. 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 It wasn't a corn tortilla. Tortilla. No. <laughs> it wasn't a corn tortilla, but it was not bad. It was pretty good. The best thing they had was their chips with the guacamole. It was bomb. I'll say that. I can munch yeah, on that, that all day. That. And I had a Mexican Coca-Cola and it tastes authentic. All right, guys. I'll see you at home. Here they are. We are at home. I'm actually very excited for this. Let me show you guys where we're at right now. These are the EK9 Type R brakes, and that is why I ended up buying wheels instead of running the Steelies like I have in the back. That was the main plan. But now we're going to run some wheels. We're going to make them kind of sleek, and uh, they'll just look like an average Civic. I guess people will not expect what's in the engine bay, hopefully not anyways. 
But yeah, we're gonna paint that eventually, the yellow. I think I'm gonna paint it black, keep the sleek look. That is a Mini Cooper rotor with an 06 TSX pad, so that is the brake setup on this car. I think we needed the brake setup on the car, especially because, you know, we're adding a lot of power. You gotta, you know, supply some brakes that can handle that too, and I think this will. Let's test fit one of those. Got ourselves a set of Rota slip streams. We went with a eight, a 15 by eight plus 40. The main reason I went with 15 is because I want to go a 205 50 tire, a meaty tire. But for this car, eventually I'd like to get a 16 inch wheel set up and maybe we'll get some Rigus for that or T37s or some Gram lights. Those are the three like authentic wheels that I'm thinking of going for like car shows and stuff like that. But I take nothing away from these rotors because these rotors are fantastic. I've been a rotor fan for a long time and a lot of race teams, drifters all use rota and they hold up against the test of time. Let's test with these and let's see how they look. I know that many of you have these and these are a popular wheel, but this is something I've always personally wanted for this car or a, an old 90s build is a wheel like this. Let's check it out. Here they are. They are going to look so good. I know it's an aftermarket wheel. It takes away from the sleeperness of the car, if that's even a word, but I couldn't help myself. Many Civics that are stock and have a D16 or whatever, a D15 in it, have wheels and everything done. So I still think it will still throw some people off. So I think it's going to look so good. We're going to do some headlight restorations, things like that, make this look OEM plus. But my God, that's gonna look so good. The yellow calipers actually look nice with the red and the black. Hmm. Should I go a yellow valve cover and keep these yellow and just you know freshen them up, or should I just go black calipers and we'll do a completely different color valve cover, teal, a nice royal blue, a yellow, you know, carbon printed on it. You guys, let me know. But God damn. Look at that. Like I said earlier, I've always wanted a set of these, so it's pretty cool to finally own them. Uh, big shout out to Mike at Rota. Thank you for helping me and helping me decide on the wheels I wanted and having these in stock, because these are tough to find these days, believe it or not. And he hooked me up with a great, great price and very, very happy to run this on the car. These are gonna be the wheels that have, you know, the better tire on it, like I said earlier. I'm gonna have these with some nice uh, tires on it. It's gonna be some sticky tires so we can grab traction. And then I may in the future have another set of wheels that will be like some Volks or something like that. I don't know yet, it's just thoughts. Thoughts that go through my head that I think we're gonna do. But this is just another step closer. What we need now is we need some good tires on here. Now I'm debating on what tire to go with. Uh, we can get some Falcons, Toyo Triple Eights. There's a lot to choose from, so I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm still making that decision. If you guys have any input on that, let me know down below. My Indy 500s on the 10th gen are great. I actually, like, I actually really, really like those tires. Uh, but maybe for this car, we'll do like a triple eight or something because it's not going to get driven uh, as much because it's a weekend car. And the tread wear is a little more aggressive, but I think it'll be worth it for that traction on this. Let me know what tires you guys want to see on it. And this is where we're going to end off the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is something a little different. Alexander's making a bunch of noise because she's feeding Hugo. This is a little insight into my life. And I hope if you guys enjoyed these type of vlogs, we can continue making them because I had a good time making it today. A couple different things, just not install videos and stuff. We showed you the wheels and the wheel setup for the car. The tires are coming still. And uh, you guys just traveled along with us through our little foodie adventures today. Make sure to hit the notification button so you guys are aware when all the videos come out. Most of the time my videos will be released at 12 o'clock on Saturday. Sometimes I release two videos a week and those will vary. The second video will vary throughout the week depending on how it goes. But that is everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the little adventure we had. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do it once, do it right. Peace out and later. Thank you.